I'm Dr. Dickie Fuller. I'm the founder and president of Transformation Enzymes. Here at Transformation, we are an enzyme company, but we're also an educational company. We have a clinic, and in that clinic, we have a registered dietitian, a biochemist, an enzymologist, a chiropractor, and myself, of course. We are doing some clinical research, and we're, we're connected with research with some of the universities. So we have to offer you our technical services and also our white paper and my book as well. Most of the questions that I'm asked is, how did I ever get involved with enzymes? And it's a very simple story, and it's one that many health practitioners have, and that is that they had a need, and they're loved one had a need as well. And in that case, my, it was my child. I had two children. One was very healthy, and the other one came into this world fairly ill, and I never really realized how really sick she was until she was six weeks old, and she began the low temperature fevers that we just couldn't figure out what it was all about. One thing led to another, and I remember seeing 16 doctors in six weeks, and they didn't have the answer. So I thought that I would have to go back to school and find some of those answers myself. And that led me into medicine. And I was in the medical world for quite some time. But Colleen worsened. And finally, when she was 13 years old, she was given a short time to live. And I knew that I had to do something. At that time, two weeks after her uh, last diagnosis, I was told that I had my third cancer. And so I knew that the medical world didn't give me all the answers that I was looking for. Colleen was ready to go into dialysis and the uh, disease that attacked her organs and especially her liver. So is it too late to go into preventative, I asked myself. And of course, one of the medical doctors, a very good friend of mine, led me down the path into what changed my life. In fact, in his day, it was really something for him to suggest that I observe a colonic. And I didn't know what a colonic was, but uh, we did go over to one of the doctor's offices, and we decided that Colleen was the person that was going to get the colonic, of course. And so she received, received her colonic, and we were watching it, and I just could not believe what came out of her, because she started to pass not just undigested foods, but she passed her medication as well. And she passed her minerals, and she passed her vitamins. And I know because they were in the same form, and the color was still on them. And you know, we were told in school that was an impossibility. And so I talked the doctor then to getting on the table, and I observed his colonic, and he passed for the digestive foods, and I did as well. So I became a colon therapist, and this was in the days that you could become a colon therapist by taking a three-day course, and I did. And I started to work with people that were sick, that were well, were young, were old, and the one thing they all had in common was that they couldn't digest their food. And finally one day, I got it. I had an aha. I realized that I was on the wrong end. If I could just be able to assist them to digest their food properly, then that would make a difference. Now through all this, Colleen seemed to hang on. She never did have to go into dialysis. And of course, we paid attention to her food, because when you have a condition, it's obvious that what we do doesn't work for them if we continually have that. So we changed her diet, trying to get the foods that she could digest better. But finally I decided, I had heard about enzymes years ago when I lived in Germany. And I thought that it was strange at that time because, you know, we were told in school that enzymes are destroyed in the stomach. And I thought, well, what have I got to lose? So we got her some enzymes, and sure enough, she seemed better. I gave enzymes to all the other clients, and they seemed better. And I knew that I was where I was supposed to be. Except I just wasn't getting the results I wanted. Because you see, we couldn't waste much time. Colleen was ill. And so then I decided that I would look into a stronger enzyme. Is there such a thing? And I found my cereal enzymes. We lovingly call them plant enzymes, digestive enzymes. And they're made from plant sources. I should say grown on a plant source. And I thought, well, you know, I'm going to check into this. And when I started giving my clients this type of enzyme, everything changed. And then I knew I was where I was supposed to be. As a colon therapist, it was very soon that I realized that people that were shaped a particular way 
had particular problems and when I would look at the questionnaire and when I would do blood work or I would do urinalysis, they all seemed to fit. Now think about it. They all wore these little gowns when they came in to see me so it was very easy for me to kind of see how they were shaped. And remember I told you I did healthy people, I did sick people, I did young people, I did old people. Well, I did some of the Bronco football team. And let me tell you, when those big old boys came in there, they all were shaped very similar. And they all had similar problems with proteins. And so this is what the class is going to be about today. It's going to give you some information. How you are genetically, what you need, what enzymes you may not be making enough of for the type of foods that you want to eat most. And you know, this was the answer for Colleen. Because by getting out all the toxic, wa toxic waste, assisting her to digest her food, developing a way of eating for her so that she could rebuild. Her hair soon began to shine. Her face started to clear up. And the good news is Colleen is 35 years old just recently, and she's alive and well, and I've been free of cancer for 22 years. So I think we're on to something, and I know that enzymes were the answer.